Many times when we discuss climate change, we say the catalyst behind it is the fossil fuel industry and how in our everyday lives we emit all of this CO2 and methane, creating the greenhouse effect and warming the planet. And this phenomenon does occur, do not get me wrong. Human pollution in our daily lives are certainly a major factor in climate change. However, this is not the driving force like many people want you to believe. In fact, the biggest cause behind climate change, our cow farts. Well, not all cow farts. It includes cows, pigs, horses, sheep, all of the livestock and cattle that we use for our meat and dairy products. Milk, cheese, yogurt, eggs, all come from the bodies of these animals. And of course, beef. Pork, chicken uh, are all the bodies of these animals. And the problem with this is that we are breeding way too many of these animals for the planet to be able to sustain. Think about all of the needs and actions of these animals. They need water. And to produce a pound of beak, it takes about 1,800 gallons of it to do so. And the pound of pork, it takes 576 gallons of water. I mean, imagine your neighbor trying to water his garden using a hose, right? But then he keeps on using it. And he lets the hose spurt out 1,800 gallons of water flooding his yard, your yard, and the whole block. Well, you would say, stop. What are you doing? That's too much water. It's unneeded. Well, maybe it's time we should apply the same train of thought to this industry as well. Now, after this whole spill, you might say, okay, okay, we get it. It's a giant waste of water, but how do livestock and cattle pollute the atmosphere? Well, it goes back to cow farts. Through these animals' digestive processes, they emit a ridiculous amount of methane into the atmosphere. Methane is one of the most dangerous greenhouse gases on the planet, mind you. In fact, it is 25 to 100 times more destructive than CO2. And through all of these animals' pollution, they account for 18% of global emissions. That is more than cars, trucks, trains, ships, and planes, all of them combined, which amounts to just 13% of global emissions. However, a more recent and accurate analysis of the situation found that livestock in, in its byproducts may actually account for 51% of all global emissions, which automatically places it as the number one cause of climate change in the world. Freaking cows and sheep and pigs and horses are the driving force behind the crisis that has created historic droughts, floods, heat waves, hurricanes, tornadoes, and the crisis that's becoming exponentially worse as we speak. That's amazing, man. And, and please do not overlook the amazing drain that this industry has on our water supply. Please do not take for granted the fact that we can turn on the faucet and find water gushing down into our sink. Please do not take for granted the fact that we can just drive up the street to our local store and find whole packages of water at our disposal. In many parts of the world, that's not the reality. And people are fighting wars over this resource that every human being on the planet needs to survive. People die every day because they do not have access to clean water. And something as ridiculous as a hamburger, which uses up 660 gallons of water in its production, something as simple as a slab of meat, is depriving billions across the world of the liquid they need to um, stay alive. But California, I have folks who live out there. They tell me every day about how water comes out in chunks due to this historic drought. They tell me about how the ground is drying up before their eyes. But just a few days ago, the governor, he goes on TV, starts ordering people to cut their water usage by 25%. 25% of all your daily activities, gone. But the real thing taking away California's water supply is this nonsense? Cows and pigs and horses and sheep farting away and crapping away and, dr and drinking trillions of gallons of water each year. Household water usage, your, your showers, your gardening, washing your hands. That only accounts for 5% of the water usage across the United States. So why is this fool going on TV only addressing 5% of the water supply? What about the over half of it that's being used by these meat and dairy industries raising and killing these animals? Well, it goes back to the root problem of 
every issue in government today. Money. You already know, these dairy and meat companies have been running amok across the governments of not just Cali, not just the United States, but across the globe. They inject countless amounts of money each year to keep the people quiet about the real cause of this crisis. Because, of course, if we start cracking down on the meat and dairy industries, their empires come toppling to the ground. And if they can't buy you off, many times, they'll kill you. In Brazil, over a thousand environmental activists who don't support an acre every second being cut down of the rainforest, yeah, a thousand of those types of people have been killed in the last few decades by the Brazilian government and other agents of these huge and so much of this land being cleared to create space for these animals and the crops needed to feed these animals. And that's a huge problem for the ecosystem in Brazil. Because 137 species of plants and animals go extinct every day because of cutting down rainforest. And much of the world's oxygen supply takes a huge hit as well. Because obviously trees emit oxygen, which we need to survive. So let's recap. Livestock and cattle, they are a driving force behind climate change the water crisis, the destruction of the ecosystem, and now our oxygen supply. Those are pretty much all the things we need for the human race to survive. Oxygen, water, and a planet. And thanks to a bunch of dairy and meat companies, those three things are now in jeopardy. Okay, now please don't take this video as a, a call for action and go out on a cow killing spree because there are many things that we can do in our own personal lives to help combat this crisis. Number one, cut down on how much milk you drink, the yogurt, cheese, eggs, those things that you eat. Start buying more healthy versions of dairy products. Things that originate from soy, almonds, essentially resources that do not come from animals. And next, try to cut down on how much meat you eat. And that's something that you should be doing anyway. Eating meat drastically raises your chances of getting cancer and other diseases as well. So going vegetarian slash vegan not only helps save the planet, but it can even save you personally down the road. Well, thanks for listening, people. If, if, if this is your first time listening to New Progressive Era, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below so you can listen to more of this channel and join the community. Follow us on Twitter at New Liberal Era. The link is in the description. And remember to spread the word. Have a fantastic day, everybody.